My name is uh, Tikva, and I'm um, basically serving the Lord and doing the translation as I could and serving in Jerusalem, the international and also my people. Basically, um, I raised in a religious home. So at home, they spoke about God always, and we celebrate the holidays and Shabbat and everything. So I always have longing to know Him, to have a relationship with Him. So uh, 12 years ago, 12 and a half years ago, uh, somebody gave me the New Testament. For the first time in my life, I didn't know about the existence of the New Testament. And so I took it home to my apartment in Jerusalem, and I started to read it. And I was fascinated about uh, the genealogy, about uh, all coming to Yeshua. Um, so I had revelation. I just, uh, after reading the genealogy, chapter 1 and verses 1 till 17 in Matthew, I just asked the Lord, the Father, I knew that He's my Father, I knew that He's God, but I didn't have access to Him. I always want to know Him, to know Him personally. So after reading the genealogy, I just fall on my face and I just ask God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, if Yeshua, if Jesus is my Messiah, I want to see him with my own eyes. So after weeping and crying before the Lord and praying that prayer, I went back to sleep and I saw Yeshua calling me in the dream. I saw a tall, beautiful, with white robe man and calling me just with a move, just follow me. I asked before God, and I knew that God answered prayer. And right away after I went to sleep, I hear, and I saw him calling me. And I knew that I knew that Yeshua is the Messiah of Israel in the morning when I woke up. I didn't saw his face, I saw his back. He, he, he had a white, beautiful robe, very shiny. I couldn't even describe the white and shiny. It was so perfect. And he just waved to me, come. Right away as I woke up in the morning, I told my friends and I told people on the street and I went to the phone and just called people and say, I saw the Messiah of Israel in my dream. People thought that I'm getting a little bit crazy. It was very weird for them. And of course, to my family, to friends, I love to share the gospel with Israelis. The Israeli need to know that Yeshua is the Messiah. They read all about him from Genesis to the Second Chronicles, but they not yet knowing him, but they are on the way. I'm sharing the gospel always, wherever I go, and I love to do so because I, I want that everybody will know him. Right away, right away, I met Yeshua and I made right away a decision. Today I know that the Holy Spirit led me to my lifestyle will change totally. I stopped doing all the things that I used to do as, as a normal teenager, like listening to bad music, dancing in clubs, even smoking, even everything was changed, totally changed by the power, by the grace of Holy Spirit. When they hear that I'm believing in Yeshua, in Jesus for them, they didn't want me to be around. First of all, they, they put me in the house arrest for a few months. But after that, they let me go. They saw that I'm very consistent. And my faith is strong. It's not just something that is past. So they really don't much care about my life because I very strongly believe in Yeshua, in Jesus. After reading Isaiah 53 to people, people had that uh, revelation that he is the one that suffered. But in Israel, it's hard for them to take a step and say, oh, he is the one. So just praying for them continually. But yes, vision, dreams, visitation. I think we a close is <laughs> to the end, if I, if I may say. And um, for Israel, it says in the word that the Jewish looking for sign, and he's so gracious for us and showing sign about himself, dreams and vision. They need to be convinced that this is him. It's okay, uh, maybe in the West, in other places, when you share the gospel, you lead to them. You said you want to receive Yeshua to your heart. In Israel, it's a different story. People like to have visitation, and they like to have dreams and vision. They like something specific, something to convince them that is the Messiah. I'm, I hope that we are very close to the end. He's returning. Yeshua is the Messiah of Israel. He is the son of David. He is the servant suffering and he is the king that will come and rule and reign. He is the way, the truth and life and he is coming 
soon. We hope and pray for them strongly.